Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Elon Paul, and we're going to be doing the Anomaly mission for the weekend. And let's see what we have in store as we wait for things to load up. If any of you have been paying attention to Twitter, now known as X, you'll know that uh, Sean Murray has tweeted. What would you call it now? The x -ed? That doesn't sound right. Anyway, moving on. He sent out a message to everybody and showed a... 7th anniversary video, it's about a minute and a half, almost two minutes long, give or take, of every single update that's come out, including the latest that is about to come out called Echoes. So we're looking forward to seeing what that's going to be about, but in the meantime, let's get started uh, as we wait for the graphics card to keep up here. Alright, here we go. So we are on my main freighter. And we're about to head out to our landing bay. And we're going to pick a ship and go do a little bit of uh, anomaly uh, mission stuff. That's the ship I currently have saved. I've got my living ship here, as you know. Obviously, Golden Vector. Yeah, I've been playing for a little bit. Let's see. Little guy, I think we're going to go ahead and go with our main ship over here. The ship that I've already got selected. Our Raptor, of course. And I've been doing a lot of uh, fixing up our inventories. My inventory is nice and clean now. Thank heavens. Oh, what do you know? My freighter is upside down again. That is always a cool thing because you come out and you're heading straight towards a planet. Really, really neat. There we go. Ah, yes. And of course, the Normandy. Hello, Normandy. Or we just call him Norm. All right, let's get out of the atmosphere here and get over and uh, pull in the pull in that anomaly. And I still think I'm too close to the atmosphere, right? Yeah. Oh, I could have pulled it in. Rats. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. Thunk. There we go. That's no moon. It's an anomaly. All right, here we go. I don't think I have multiplayer on. Yeah, multiplayer should be off right now. Makes things run a little bit smoother. My newer software seems to be working pretty well lately. It hasn't crashed yet, so... And we'll keep an eye on it and see how it does. Maybe there'll be an update in the future for that as well. Oh, we're not heading to you. I'll get to you later. Here we go. And you can see the mission is available at the top. Okay. Let's go ahead and choose it. Bloodthirsty plants were eliminating hazardous flora yet again. And we're going to get an exosuit upgrade chart, which I really don't need, and 1800 quicksilver. Initialize. Start the mission. Off we go, ladies and gents. And fellow travelers. Mission started. All right. And here we go. Now, it should take us to a different system. This ship is actually one of my favorite ships. I just love the way it looks. It's got the right coloring, too. It's got the blue and yellow that I favor. Which happens to be the same colors as the flag of the Ukraine. Go figure. Eh, anyway. Not sure how that applies. <laughs> in a... In system. In a... 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 It's an anemone. Okay, looks like we're heading to this planet over here. We'll scan that planet. Let's scan that planet because I want to know what I'm getting myself into. Frozen anomaly with activated indium. Once again, we have activated indium. I think we're going to have to get past them. Let me see. Nope, we're good. Activated indium, dioxide, and cobalt. So this is going to be a cold planet, but I'm not seeing much else of anything. It doesn't mention anything about... Um, plants or animals, so this is going to be very interesting. Being an anomaly planet, there may not be any flora, uh, pardon me, any fauna on the planet, no animals in other words. But obviously if there's, you know, ugly little plants on here that are going to attack me, it looks like we were in the middle of a storm too to boot. Alright, so what we have to, whoa, okay, hang on, alright, yeah, that was weird. 
what we have to do is we're going to look at our radar. We usually have to find a... Let me just get a little bit closer. A grave to start with. And usually they show up on your radar at the top as a little diamond-shaped icon. Let's go over here. Oh, did we just pass it? Great thing about these ships, if you got yourself a sentinel ship, they hover really, really well. Looks like it was just a purple one. All right, go back the other way. Go back the other way. A little slower. This thing has so much speed, it's ridiculous. I'm having trouble controlling it. Oh, we're all the way down here, huh? All right, it's going to be one of those. Ah, and the storm just cleared up just like that. Will it be down here? Let's find out. Okay. Land and begin searching. Now, if you start attacking plants now, it doesn't work. Looks like we've got a little campground there. Now, this grave could be anywhere. It could be on the mountainside. Oop. Thought I saw it for just a second. Is it down here? Let's go down a little closer. Hold on. Nope, not there. All right, and you can see this activated indium here. Too bad it's not worth more these days, huh? I'm seeing things, apparently. Let's go to the other section over here and just take a peek. All right, it's getting to the point where we may just have to exit the ship and take a look around. So we'll go up to the top of one of these hills a little bit. Again, watch your radar at the top of the screen. Being in the ship and looking at it is a little bit harder sometimes. Okay, let's go over here. I'm curious. There's a flattened spot over here. Usually means good things. No. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and land. Let's take a look around. And we got the volume down a little bit purposely, so if you're wondering how why it's so quiet. And plenty of plants. Okay. And we've got predators. Great. Uh, let's see. Yep, you too. So, first things first. We're on a planet that's got predators on it, so keep your eyes peeled. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll stick with the bolt, bolt caster. Okay. And take a look around. So, apparently it's 13... 100 units that way. We are nowhere near where we need to be. So I'm going to, instead of just traveling over there, I'm going to go ahead and take off and head over that way. So you can see we have an entire mountain range in our way, so it's probably on the other side. And it's probably over here. Again, again watch your radar closely. And it's probably down here somewhere. It looks like we got this little guy here. I'll go ahead and land next to him. And we'll take another look. And it still says we're 1,300 blocks away. So we went in completely wrong direction. Let's see. we got to head directly to the right. Let's try one more time. And you know how much I love these kind of planets? They're just so cool. And annoying. Very, 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 very annoying. As I'm saying quietly so you can't hear me say it. Uh, let's see. I like that flat spot over there. Let's land over there. Okay. Down we go. Sooner or later we'll find this. Three hours later. How can I possibly be further away? How is that possible? <laughs> Let's go down into this hole here to see. Doesn't seem to be anything down here. You know we got to be getting closer. All right. Landing area not clear. Go a little further then. 
Still won't let us land for some reason. Have it over here. Let's land over here. This looks good. Now, whatever happens here, we're going to go ahead and just head wherever this stupid little gravestone is. All right, it's over that way. So I think what we need to do, we're going to call in a pet. Hey, buddy. How you doing? All right, we're going to ride you and head in the direction that we need to go. And we can just always call in the ship later. Okay, and away we go. And while we're on here, we can take a look. Okay, so it should be straight in front of us. Now, this little guy is going to drop on his own to a lower level at some point. We just can't see enough to make, you know, make heads or tails of where we're going. But we are getting closer much faster, as you can see. we got to turn to the right a little bit. Okay. Of course, there's a superheated storm coming. Okay, just make sure. Probably going to be over to the right a little bit more. Yep, this looks good. And we'll go faster. So I think we got it lined up finally. Again, watch your radar. If it's too far below you, you may not see it. We've already gone into another region. To our right, up the hill, I think. Should be right in front of us. Once we get within about 150, I think it shows up. No, well, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, there it is. 100, really? That close? Yeah, apparently. Should be right in front of us any time now. Can't see a thing. That's it. All right, let's call our ship in so we have it here. All right, we got to talk to this fallen traveler. Snagged around the ankles, piercing thorns, completely unaware. We reduced the numbers, but it landed right on his head. Fallen traveler's log seems to be inching the floral infestation, but holds no further clues. I will need to scout to locate the hazardous floor. Leave. So now we can start. And it's going to tell us where to look. Now, here's the thing. If you can find yourself, get out of this mode. You see at the bottom you're in the targeting mode? Get out of that mode and go into this mode and take a look for anything that could be buried. Uh, let's see. Got a lot of nodes down here. That's good. We're looking for... Not like buried technology. You're looking for uh, like eggs and things like this. Uh, let's see. It doesn't look like I'm finding anything on this mountain. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? Humming sack. That's what you're looking for. That means there's a uh, there is a cave up that way. Now, because of the heat storm, because of the hill, you should be able to jet up here and find yourself a cave. Yeah, it looks like it's right up here. And here's the cave. So head into the cave, and as you can see, you can already see where I'm going with this. That is what you're looking for. Okay? So I'm going to use my hijack laser. One, two, three. I've already got three of them, just like that. Caves are going to be your friend here, though they are going to be very difficult to navigate because of the steepness of the mountain, mountainous terrain. There's three more. And as a precaution, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my pet. And I just got three more. So let's go ahead and dismiss the pet. There we go. See you later, suit walker. And it looks like we just had someone near land nearby. That's the green icon you see there. This is a heck of a cave, man. Good grief. There's another one. Okay. So what are we up to? We're up to seven. And I think I just see a bunch more, or is that eggs? Yep, those are more. Eight, nine, 
10, 11. Is that one? Yeah, it is. 12. Much easier this way, wasn't it? Now, gotta get out of here. So this is the fun part. Whoop, all the way back around. There we go. Okay. Just blast our hole in the side. We gotta head to our ship. You're gonna fall a while. Now I'm gonna head over to the bathroom and I'll be back when we land. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, of course. And there we go. And there we go. And that is all you have to do. Now that's the easiest way to do it. You could search around the mountainsides, but I'm telling you, it's so much easier if you can find yourself a... That's weird looking. If you can find yourself a cave, that would be the best way you could take care of this mission. All right, I think we're in space again. Pull in the neck, pull in the anomaly, not the nexus. Nexus is inside the anomaly. That's okay, I, I know this. Off we go. And we've returned to the space anomaly. So we're going to check a couple things while we're here. One thing we're going to check is we're going to check, uh, we're, we're going to turn in our, you know, obviously our quest here. Yep. Get rid of the mission. There we go. I keep doing that. I don't know why. And complete the mission. So we get our 1800 Quicksilver, the Exosuit upgrade chart. And that should be it. That's our ship. Here we go. Of course, I've got all this crystal flesh I can hang on to. And here's the chart I got out of that. So that's good stuff. Let's check out our Quicksilver companion over here. I did it again. I don't know why. And we're going to create items. What do we got open? Looks like the third one's open. The hologram starship is now open. Tier 4 is next. You see we're about halfway through Tier 4. And we were just barely into Tier 3 last time. Or just you know, so it's actually starting to accelerate. That means something. That usually means something's coming very, very soon. So I suggest you watch Twitter or X, as it's called now, over the weekend, um, especially on Sunday. Usually Sunday night is the time when Sean Murray likes to uh, send out a message to everybody, usually with some sort of a uh, 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 emoji uh, of some sort to indicate what it's going to be about. And we know that we know that the new upgrade update is going to be called Echoes. So it should also hint at what we're going to be doing possibly as part of the expedition that should be coming, which could be next Thursday, could be the Thursday after. I'm thinking probably two weeks. I, th I don't know if he's going to release it to challenge Starfield or if he's going to release it a week early to challenge Starfield. We'll see. But that is what it is. So that's what we've got here to get to that new unlocked unit. You want to go into your gestures, scroll all the way to the right, and you'll have your holograms. And that is what it looks like. There you go. That's your hologram. So if you select it while you're walking, this happens. I don't know why. It's a glitch. They may fix it one day. But who knows, right? This is really weird. I mean, I can literally keep doing it all day. Interesting. So why don't we go ahead and do this and say goodbye. We want to thank you all for watching. Appreciate your support. Please hit that thumbs up and like button. And uh, and if you haven't subscribed, feel free to do so. I try to do these missions every weekend. Got a lot of other missions we're going to be doing. Might even do a stream tomorrow night. I haven't decided. So Saturday night is usually my night to stream. I do have a lot of personal issues going on right now. So there's uh, with, with family and everything like that. So there may not be a stream. And I'm going to try to see if I can get a couple extra videos done over the weekend so we have some stuff prepared in advance. So, again, thank you all for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.